During this next portion of the setup process, I'm going to show you how to use the arranger feature that's found within Cakewalk by BandLab. Now, this step is completely optional, so if you choose not to use the arranger feature to set up your project for the first time, then feel free to skip ahead to the next module. However, to speed up the navigation process during these modules, I will be using the arranger feature, if nothing else, just for the sake of being able to jump from one place in the song to the next seamlessly. Now, if you're not sure exactly how the arranger feature works, this will be a great way for you to be able to make an educated decision as to whether you will use it in your projects or not. So, let's begin. Okay, so first I'm going to open up the arranger by pressing the A key on the keyboard. As you can see, that opens up the arranger area here. I'm now going to section off the song by the various parts that make up the song itself. We'll start with the intro. Okay, so just as the vocal begins is where I'm going to call that the first verse. So everything before this is going to be considered the intro. So I'm going to insert a marker here just where the vocals begin. I'm going to call this verse 1. And hit OK. Now I'm going to take the playhead back to the start and insert a marker here. I'm doing this by right clicking on this portion here. Now I'm going to hit insert marker again and call this intro. And hit OK. Now you can see that I have an intro marker and verse 1 marker. All right, let's find the first chorus. Okay, I'm going to call this Chorus 1. Insert my marker here. And hit OK. And I'm assuming this is going to be the beginning of verse 2. Okay, and it is. Going to insert a marker here for verse 2. All right, looks like I found chorus 2. Going to hit OK there. Okay, I'm going to insert the marker here. This is going to be chorus three and outro. And I'm going to call this part just before that the crescendo. All right, this portion here is going to be called crescendo. Okay, now using my markers tab up top, I can go to any one of these markers at any given time here. So this is one way that I could jump back and forth between the project very quickly without having to use the arranger feature at all. By creating these markers, it not only allows me to seamlessly move back and forth between different areas of the project, but it also allows for a more organized and cohesive project altogether. And this would become especially useful if I was collaborating with this project with other individuals. Okay, so now that we have our markers in place, this is going to be the quickest way to use the arranger feature that's found within Cakewalk by BandLab. So the first thing that I'm going to do is hold Control and A. This is going to select all the tracks within the project. Then by right-clicking in this ruler portion up here, I'm going to create sections from the markers. These are the markers that we just created in this last portion of the video. As you can see now, all of the arranger sections have been automatically added based off of the markers and where we place them at.
I'm going to double click the Arranger Track 1 name in order to change it. I'll just simply entitle it Found. Now, the reason why I'm able to change the name on this portion of the Arranger Track is because I can create more than one arrangement within the same project and switch seamlessly back and forth between the various arrangement options. We're going to click on the A over here to show or hide the Arranger. And as you can see here, here's a breakdown of all of the areas right here. Each one of these areas can be recolored, renamed, duplicated, or even deleted from here. The upper portion of this are the sections of the arrangement. So this right here would be the main arrangement as it stands now. However, I can drag portions of this down to the arrangement section here and create different arrangements based off of how I drag those sections. These new arrangements can then be renamed as something different. Now I can switch seamlessly back and forth between the various arrangements that I've created. By hitting the play or preview button, it will then play through each one of these sections as I have them laid out here. And whenever it's finished with the last section, it will loop back to the first. Now let's take a listen to Arrangement 2. So as you can see, you can take the song and arrange it in several different ways to hear how you might like to arrange it for the final product. Now if at any time you would like to delete one of the arrangements that you've created, you can simply click the drop down box here and go to delete. The small button on the left will add all selections to the arrangement. So if I was to click this and hold control and click several at once, I can then add all of them at once to this arrangement section. Likewise, on the right hand side, if I was to hit commit arrangement to project, all of the changes that have been made in arrangement two would then be committed to the project itself. And everything on the project would change based off of how the arrangement section was laid out. As covered before, you can also preview the arrangement from here. And it even tells you the entire length of this current arrangement here. For this current arrangement, it's three minutes and 24 seconds. Contained within the small drop down box here are several other options as well. You can rename this arrangement, create a new one, duplicate it, delete it, save this as an arranger template, make a new arrangement from this template, or even export the audio that is contained within this arrangement section. Now, if I was to choose export audio, the export audio dialog box is going to come up and it's immediately going to be set to the bounce settings of tracks. So it's going to export them as multi-tracks. For now, I'm going to go ahead and delete the arrangement sections as it's already arranged pretty much in the way that I would like for it to be. However, this upper portion is going to help me to go seamlessly back and forth between one portion of the project and another. Say, for instance, if I wanted to go from the intro... And hear how loud the intro was versus the crescendo. Then I can seamlessly jump back and forth between the two and do some quick checks of the dynamics of the song. If you would like to fine tune areas of the arrangement section and chop it up into smaller pieces, you can do that too just by creating sections from a selection. For instance, if I wanted just this section here to be part of the arranger section so that I could jump back and forth between it seamlessly, 
or if I was working in loop-based material, and maybe this was a portion of a sample that I would like to use in other places, I can simply highlight it here, and then up at the top, create a section from the selection. Now that the section has been created, I can literally move this anywhere within the project. It's imperative to note that if you click in the upper portion of this section, you'll notice that all of the tracks that are below this section are actually selected with it. So any changes that I make to this section will affect all of the tracks below it. So if I want to shorten or elongate that particular arrangement section, I need to make sure that I click it again so that everything below it is not highlighted. Now I can click and drag that section anywhere I would like without causing any destructive editing to take place. All right, so with just a little bit of time and preparation, we now have a bird's eye view, a great overlook of the entire project as it stands.